Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you the really fast tutorial about how you can uh, coordinate the models. Just now I get, uh, uh, I just received the three different models. Uh, actually this is one model, but uh, it's three part of the one building. And I think this is, will be great if I will show you uh, what you should do with the three parts of the one building, how you can manipulate with that. So this is a tutorial, let's say, from the my work and I will show you the real case how you should work with the, this type of the model. First of all, I should say I get these three models and the client uh, cannot say where is the, for example, the coordination models, where the main models, and I should guess what I should do with the, these models. Um, okay, the, I, ha I have here the size of the model and uh, let's say I understand uh, clearly we have something in this file. In the third one because this is more must high is the files uh, which is we have so let's say this file will be the uh, main one and uh, first of all we will open this file and we will see what we have inside that file so i am going to the open uh, i'm copy the way ways the my files i will select this file and i will straight away detach from the central model because uh, if you will open, you will be inside the in central model, and if someone the uh, own the some objects, you're not uh, able will be manipulate with that. That's why I'm detach this model, and I will click on audit this model. Yes, I will audit it. It sometimes it take the time, but it's better for us if you have, for example, some uh, bad models inside, uh, let's say families which is corrupting. We will get the. Uh, we will get some uh, log file where we can see it. So let's open up it. And uh, yes, we will detach and the previous work sets. So I know it will discard the work sets. I want to save it. Let's do that. And here we are. As you can see, we get some message. It's actually it took time, like five minutes, I think. But uh, sometimes it can be take more than five minutes. As you can see, Revit could find the 13 references. And actually, I, I, I for sure this is AfterCut drawings. Let me go inside to the manage links and let's see. Okay, we have here the two Revit files, as you can see. But let's say if you don't, if you don't, it, uh, I will just remove it. I will tell you later on, later on why, because uh, sometimes, okay, I will tell you later on why. I will remove it straight away. Let me go to the CAD formats, and as you can see, of course, we cannot find the, uh, these CAD files. Why? Because uh, actually all these files on the, um, on the uh, PC uh, who created uh, this file. Okay, so we don't have uh, anything else. Of course, we have some pictures. We don't have IFC files. So let's say this is already clear. Let's say okay. And after that, I will go to the straight away to the manage and I wanna push everything what uh, because I not will be uh, continue working with this file. I wanna clean up this to the uh, see what we have inside. So I will clean up it. I don't wanna see what what we have inside and straight away we should save it because right now we are working inside and central file we want to save it let's go to the project and i will you can just resave it or you can create with diff different name and go to the options and make sure everything it's the uh the how, how uh, no, no no you cannot check any, anything here so let's say okay let's say okay let's save it yes i want to replace it it takes time again as you can see, actually this file is not so big, so that's why it's uh, working really fast. So we already uh, resave it, but it's not finished yet. We now we now should uh, synchronize it. As you can see, the synchronize it's now working. It's available for us. Let me I will click on that, and as you can see, the user created work sets because uh, now all the users work sets under the me. So I wanna uh, make it uh, free. So let's say okay and we need now synchronize it. So what we get now inside in our folder? In our folder, we get now two extra, uh, extra folders. Uh, actually, here is the backup and here is temporary files. So it's now the now our file, now exactly the central model. We can continue with working with that. So uh, let me go to the 3D and let's see what we have actually, because actually, uh, yeah, we have some building here, as you can see. But uh, as I said, we have the three files. 
So and we now work, we will work with the all these uh, extra files and I will show you one by one how you should upload it, how you should check it, is it right or not. First of all, let me I will open uh, the other files with the same way as we did here. Why we should do that? Because actually I for sure this is also the, yes, this is also the central files. We should resave it. So let me, I will detach it. Uh, it will take time. Uh, I will show you how to do that in the second time. Uh, file again, if I save as project and uh, I will save it here the same way. The project, yes, 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 and save. Yes, I wanna save it. And after that, don't forget the synchronize. If you not will synchronize, everything will be under the U. So let me, I will synchronize it. Let me, I will close it again. I mean the second part of the building. And I will open the last part of the building. This is uh, upstairs, I think. Let me, I will open, detach. A few seconds. Uh, again, resave it. I'm not purging anything because uh, actually this file, uh, it's really, I think this uh, empty uh, or it's, uh, if it's not empty, we have there only the few walls. So I don't think so. We should clean it up because actually it's uh, not so much. We don't have so much uh, things there. Let me, I will synchronize it. Okay, done. So let me will close everything. I will go back to the, our main file. Now we are ready to the uh, manage links. Uh, go to the manage links, Revit. And as you can see, the ad not working. Why? Because we are now in our schedule or in our sheets. We should go inside to the plan. Now it's working, as you can see. Let's go back and let's use the uh, ground ground floor. I don't think I don't think so. It's ground floor, but let's say. And I will use the buy shared coordinates. Let's say okay. Let's wait it till it's loading inside of our project and let's say OK. And here is our, as you can see, the second part of our building. As you can understand, as you can see here, uh, it's not uh, in right coordinate and we will fix it up. We have the grids and we don't have, we don't need anything. We have the grids so we can now fix it up easily. Let me, I will use the line. As you can see here, we have the axis uh, six, uh, six and seven. And here also we have the six and seven. And I'm pretty sure we have the same axis uh, grids. Uh, we have the same grids in the, in these two files. Let me, I will align six to the six. Uh, let me, I will say for now, just okay. And now I wanna, uh, I want to manipulate with the my other grid. So here, A to A. And as you can see, A, A1, A2, it's exactly the same. So we did it. Uh, let me now go to the um, to the section. Uh, yes, because uh, I don't think so. We have the same uh, levels. We should check it first. Let me will select it. And I cannot see it. I cannot see it exactly with the my levels. We should choose another type of the uh, section. And I hope you will see that. No, I don't think so. We can see it here. Let me will go to the elevation because elevation um, can show us everything. So here is the my elevation, as you can see. And yes, we have the same, same position. As you can see, here is the one. And here we have the same two. But I want to make sure I will go to the another one. And I will go to the 3D. Just to make sure everything is right or not. Actually, we can see here also the levels. Here is the, our model, extra model, as you can see. If you will go to the right, we, you can see we have the zero here exactly the same with the zero in our model. So we don't need to change anything by levels. Okay, but it's not finished yet. Now we should go back to the our plan, or you can do it in the 3D, doesn't matter. And we now should transfer our new uh, shared coordinates in our part file, because it was wrong. How we can do that? You just go to the coordinates under the manage and publish coordinates. And just select a model where you want to publish your coordinates. So we want to publish our coordinates to the uh, second uh, part of our building. I will select it. And now just say, okay, we are published, but we should save it also. Let's uh, use the synchronize. Let's say, okay. And now you will get this message. 
Do you want to save new coordinates in our second uh, second part of the building? If you will say yes, it automatically will change inside of this file. We will say yes. It will take a bit time because saving now two files. And what we get actually? We get really nice thing. If now we will delete our, for example, link, I know I not will um, uh, reload it or uh, something else. I will just remove it. And as you can see, it's not uh, here anymore. If you will, um, for example, upload it again by shared coordinates, it will um, uh, it will place exactly on the same position as we did. As you can see, now it's exactly on the same position. So you no need now care about it because you know that it will be on the same position. If of course some architects not will moving because they like it so much. So and now we should do the same thing with the last file. Uh, let me will select the last file by shared coordinates. Let's say OK. Few seconds and let's say OK again. And as you can see, here is the last file. And again, the coordinates is not right. 18 the grid is here, but 18 grids is here. So you should do the same thing. Align, align 18 the grid. Say just here the uh, OK because we will save it later on. And the grid A here and the grid A here. Just align and align again. That's it. Now we need publish our coordinates, publish it here. Let's say OK and let's save it. Let's save it. I will synchronize it and now I can save it. But I didn't check the floor actually, the uh, I mean the elevation. We will check it right now. Let me go to the, mm, to the for example, this facade. Uh, now it's uh, when you have the more than one model, it's really hard to check. Or waste the level. Um, how you can do that? Actually, you can select, for example, the model and see what the type of the model you now selected. Actually, we selected the right model, and as you can see, the level, uh, the level is the same. So we don't need to change anything. So by this simple way, we already fixed our model. We already can use it uh, to do anything what you want, and it's exactly on the same coordinates. So just synchronize it one more time. And you can close out, close, close it up. So this small tutorial, I just showing you how you can working with the model, which is you received from the, your client, from the other uh, suppliers or the I don't know another architect's company. You should again, you should uh, detach it, uh, create the central model, and uh, check the coordinates. That's it. Uh, it's really simple. If you're doing it, uh, I don't know, like uh, three times on the day, it's uh, you didn't think even you didn't think what you're doing. So guys, if you really like this type of the tutorials, uh, when I'm showing to you a re real case from the my work, just let me know below the comments and I will try to show you more and more things from the my uh, daily work. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.